Hyderabad's Astra Microwave Products Limited is developing a plank-based active antenna array unit, AU, for the Virupaksh radar, set to replace the Su-30 MKI's Russian Bars radar. This innovative approach, transitioning from tile-based to plank-based AU designs, promises enhanced scalability, easier maintenance, simplified manufacturing, and superior performance, positioning India at the forefront of indigenous radar development. India's DRDO is set to begin testing the M1 missile with a 150 km interception range in 2026. With two more interceptor missiles, the M2 range 250 km scheduled to be tested in 2027 and M3 range 350 to 400 km in 2028. The M1 missile's design phase has already been completed with prototype fabrication phase underway. It boasts a single-shot kill probability exceeding 80%. The first trial, initially planned for September 2025, is now scheduled for 2026, followed by user trials lasting 12 to 36 months. Over 700 Indian Armed Forces personnel will join Bright Star 2025 in Egypt from August 28th to September 10th. The exercise includes live firing, joint planning, and modern warfare training. It highlights India's dedication to peace, regional security, and global military cooperation in one of the region's largest tri-service drills. Border Roads Organization aims to complete double landing of the Pintado stretch and other key roads in Arunachal by March 2026, despite delays. Projects include bridges, modular roads and NH-13 maintenance to improve access for locals and armed forces. Formation cutting and surfacing are underway, with a focus on safe, all-weather connectivity. The Indian Navy has launched a 24 to 28 megawatts indigenous gas turbine marine engine program under the MAKEI framework to power destroyers and frigates. Approved in July 2025, the project aims to reduce reliance on imports, boost self-reliance, and strengthen naval propulsion through collaboration with DRDO and private industry. Airbus has contracted Mahindra Aerostructures to manufacture the main fuselage of H-125 helicopters in Bengaluru, following a similar deal for H-130. Deliveries start in 2027. The H-125 is one of the world's best-selling single-engine helicopter and is used for various purposes, including passenger transport, aerial work, tourism, law enforcement, medical evacuation, and rescue missions. The move strengthens Airbus make an India push, integrating India into its global supply chain and boosting local aerospace manufacturing, defense, and civil helicopter markets. <music> defense Minister Rajnath Singh announced that India will no longer import foreign-built warships, committing fully to indigenous naval shipbuilding under Atmanirbhar Bharat. Commissioning INS Udagiri and INS Himgiri, Advanced Nilgairi-class frigates with BrahMos missiles showcases India's shipbuilding strength. The two frigates, part of the Nilgairi-class under Project 17A, were built by Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited, MDL, and Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers, GRSE. The Navy plans 20 stealth frigates by 2030, enhancing security, economy, and self-reliance. Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited, MDL, is set to build three advanced Calvary Plus class submarines with upgraded propulsion and stealth features. Unlike the current Calvary class, these will include powerful man energy diesel engines, DRDO's indigenous air independent propulsion, AIP system, and lithium ion batteries for longer underwater endurance and better performance. The AIP module will allow submarines to stay submerged for 14 to 21 days a major leap from 48 hours. Larger and more advanced, the Calvary Plus fleet will also carry modern heavyweight torpedoes. Expected under a rupees 38,000 crore contract, this project strengthens India's naval edge in the Indian Ocean region.
DRDO is partnering with private companies to develop a satellite communication-based datalink waveform for Tejas MK2 and EMCA fighters. The SATCOM-based datalink waveform is a critical technology that enables secure, real-time, beyond line-of-sight communication between aircraft and ground control stations or other platforms. Defense Electronics Application Laboratory in Dehradun is spearheading the project. The involvement of private industry marks a shift in India's defense ecosystem, with DRDO actively fostering partnerships under the Technology Development Fund scheme. Though challenges remain, including the need for robust anti-jamming features and compatibility with existing IF systems. Dassault Aviation has proposed arming the IF's Mirage 2000V fighters with Scalp EG cruise missiles with range up to 250 to 560 km and ASM hammer-guided bombs ranged up to 70 km. According to media resources, this upgrade would give the Mirage fleet modern standoff strike capability, reducing exposure to enemy air defenses. While Scalp EG is combat-proven and Hammer already equips Rafaelis, high costs of $1 to $2 million per unit, and the limited fleet size raise concerns. India's indigenous Rudram 2 missile is a cheaper long-term option, but still three to four years from service. Dassault's offer provides a faster solution, enhancing India's strike power against Pakistan and China. That's all from YKS team for now, hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.